the good news of Jesus Christ from the Gospel of St. Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good no news of great joy for all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Over these past number of months, I have become ever mindful when I open a newspaper, when I turn on the news, what a painful world this is that we live in. Economic downturn, crashing stock market, rising unemployment, continued war, terrorism. If each and every day you spend a moment with the world news, you know that these are difficult times. One could say hopeless times. And yet today, millions of people gather together in Christian communities just like this one to hear a word of hope. 2,000 years ago, hope was born into this world. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. God became incarnate and was born into this world. God came here to be with his beloved children, to let each and every one of us know that we are not alone, but that God is here with us. God has not abandoned us. God is here today. 
in one of my very favorite movies. It's a little old now, but some of you here will remember it. It was a movie called Ordinary People. And it was a movie that told the very sad story of a young teenage boy who was troubled. Deeply troubled because he had survived a boating accident which his brother had not. And this was the much beloved older brother of this family. He was the paragon of this family, the overachiever, and supposedly the stronger one. And yet the weaker, younger son was the one who survived. This was a movie that told about his decline into hopelessness, told the story of his family's disintegration and of his suicide attempt out of deep despair. And my very favorite moment in the movie is when the therapist was called by this young troubled teenager who was desperate because the therapy that he had been undergoing for quite some time had finally reached its moment of climax. And in despair, he ran out into the streets and went to a payphone and called his therapist. And they met shortly after in the therapist's office. And this young boy, troubled, walking, pacing, and filled with tears, said to his therapist, I am afraid, I am so afraid. And his therapist lovingly said to him, I am here. You can count on me. I am your friend. I am here. That is what we gather together today to celebrate. We gather together to celebrate that God is here. God is here. He is our friend and we can count on him. God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Today, in Holy Communion, we celebrate the presence of Jesus Christ, who comes in Word, who comes in bread, who comes in wine, reassuring each and every one of us that God And for all of those truths, God's people here today can say together, Amen. Amen. Amen.